Hi everyone, Raglan Jones here, product manager for Chave DJ. And here we have the brand new ILS Command, the dedicated controller for the ILS ecosystem. Today we're going to be going over some of the key features and how to access them. Let's get to it. First things first, how do you connect your ILS Command to your ILS enabled fixtures? You have two options. You can do it the traditional way with a hardwired XLR cable, or you can do it wirelessly. The ILS Command has built in DeFi. Let me walk you through how to set up your ILS command to the Gigbar Move Plus ILS wirelessly. First things first, you want to access the setting menu on your controller by pressing the X encoder. Navigate to the DeFi channel and set your desired channel. I'm set to channel 2. My Gigbar Move Plus ILS is currently set also to channel 2. In the setting menu of your Gigbar, you want to make sure you're set to receive and you're on the same DeFi channel, which is channel two. Next, you're gonna back out and put your gig bar into slave mode. You're gonna exit the setting menu by pressing the Y encoder, and I'm gonna turn on the moving heads, and you can see my gig bar move is responding. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to save a preset. Uh, right now on the gig bar move plus ILS, I have the pars and the moving heads on. Say I want them to be uh, static blue. Okay, I like that look. I want to save it and recall it at a later time. On your presets, you want to hold for three seconds on any one of your presets. Now you have the option to name this preset. I'm just going to leave it as preset one. I'm going to go to enter. And you also have the option to set what color you want your preset to be. I'm going to choose red. And now, preset one is my blue look. It's red. We'll go back to auto mode. I'm going to hit preset one. And now, my pars and my movers are blue. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to access and set up your follow spot feature. First thing you want to do is hold for three seconds on your follow spot button. This will put the fixture into follow spot mode. As you can see on my gig bar move plus ILS, I have the right moving head selected. On the controller, you have the ability to program two static points. Uh, this is great for a grand entrance at a wedding. You can highlight the entrance and follow the bride and groom down the dance floor. So here you can access your Y and your X points with the pad, you can go down to set your second point. When you're done, you hold the follow spot button and you use the X encoder to save this program. Once your show is going and it's time for the grand entrance, all you have to do is press the follow spot button and it will grab that single moving head from the show and highlight the entrance and you can use the Y encoder to dial into your second point. Once that's done, you press the follow spot button again and the moving head will go back into the program. One thing we added to the controller is a macro button for the PARS. Uh, you have a bunch of built-in movement macros. You have fade, pulse, scroll, rainbow, pop, zone control. You're going to hold the macro button for three seconds. And here you have the ability to choose up to four colors. For this example, I'm only going to use two. So what you want to do is using the X encoder to navigate to color four. You're going to press the X encoder to turn off four. Press it again to turn off three. And to set your colors for one, you can use the pad. I have red. I want to change the green to blue. You're going to press the blue button. To exit, you're going to hold the macro button for three seconds. And now you can see on the gig bar, my PARs are running a red and blue fade program. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any other questions on the ILS command, please visit us at ChaveDJ.com. Thank you for watching.